Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like so much has happened since I was last here with y'all, so I'm happy to be back and catch y'all up a little bit on my life, and hopefully y'all can catch me up with what's going on in y'all's lives too, but I'm just kind of doing an overall reset in my home today, getting things organized, cleaned up, actually doing a couple little projects and crafts. I think You'll enjoy seeing those and maybe get some ideas and then also decorating a wall upstairs in the hallway. So I'm excited to share all of this with y'all. Hope y'all are having an amazing day today and I just want to thank you again so much for being here with me. I notice how she practices piano on her thigh, imagining the keys inside her mind. Does she notice the things I notice? How her eyes wander the room when it gets quiet. Searching for solutions in the silence But I'm here, I'm here So update wise, we are coming up on Max's eighth birthday, which is so crazy and fun. He is so excited and we're going to celebrate him this upcoming weekend. We're just going to do some family stuff and then I'm pretty sure we're going to go to Six Flags if the weather is okay. And we also just had some family in town, which was wonderful. It was my aunt and uncle. And then on top of that, the weekend before, I went to Dahlonega to go visit with my sister and, well, both of my sisters and my mom and that same aunt that came into town to visit. And then right before that, I went to Florida with some girlfriends to celebrate my birthday, which was so much fun. It was so needed and we just had some amazing girl time together, tons of laughs. It was a good chance to like recharge and get back to the real world, which is also just as equally amazing. So I would love to know what y'all have been up to. We've also had some not so fun things going on. We had a local fire in our area that was just a building that was so special to our little town. And well, we have a big town, but it was still really sad because there were so many small businesses that were in there and it burned basically down to the ground. And so a lot of us have been just trying to rally around those business owners and vendors and just show them love and support. Also, my cousin, who is pregnant with her seventh child, got really sick after going on a trip and she is still in the hospital and she has some type of infection that is bad for her, but it's especially bad for the baby. And she's been struggling with that for a few days now and it's gotten really scary and it's still scary. So if you guys wouldn't mind if y'all are saying a prayer anyway, including my cousin Carrie in your thoughts and your prayers, I know that would mean so much to her and it definitely means a lot to me. I will keep y'all updated on that situation as I find out more. Another very unfortunate thing that happened to us over the past couple weeks, or not to us, but in our town, 
was our Walmart was destroyed and this was not unintentional. It was very intentional. A fire was set by a 14 year old girl and the Walmart is basically completely destroyed, which has been so terrible for the people who work there and just terrible in general. But then there are those of us who, of course, this doesn't matter as much, but I have my groceries delivered weekly, sometimes two times a week by Walmart. And so now we are making arrangements and going grocery shopping, which is how it used to be. But we have been so spoiled by just having them delivered and I'm struggling with getting into any type of routine to go grocery shopping. So also I just love Walmart and I love Kroger and I love Publix too. And I think that they are probably nicer stores to shop in, but Walmart was just what felt like home. And even though I didn't go in there, but even shopping online, I feel like the process on Walmart's website or their app is so easy. So I haven't been the best with like meal planning at night, which I've never been that great at that anyway, but I've got to do better. It, it seems crazy that our Walmart burned down and then this local store burned down. They were completely unrelated. I'm pretty sure one was a total freak thing and it was an accident, but the Walmart thing was definitely intentional. A lot of times when I am starting a load of laundry, I'll go ahead and get the next load ready too because I'm an avid pocket checker and sock turner inside outer. Well, the opposite of inside out, right side out, I guess, just because I like stuff to be a certain way when I wash it. So I was going ahead and getting the next load ready too. There are certain clothing items that I wash a ton each week, like Bo's soccer stuff. He has soccer three days a week and then Kate has tumbling so I'm always washing her tumbling stuff and then also their Awana stuff they wear shirts and vests so I'm washing those I just want to make sure that those are always clean so I pull those out make sure they're in the load that's going in and then I got a whole other load ready too I really need to decorate for fall soon now that it is officially fall it kind of snuck up on me a little bit and I don't put out a ton of stuff just because I get so excited about Christmas and I don't want to have a ton of stuff that I need to take back down but I do have several pumpkins I'm definitely not gonna buy anything for this year at all because I have so much stuff from previous years that I can put out and I don't really see the need in buying new stuff every year but if you do, that's great. I just don't, I don't know. I almost don't have the energy for that. I feel like it's a lot to keep up with. Plus Mark and I are desperately needing to go through all of our garage bins and get rid of stuff that we don't use. I'm having a 
I wouldn't say a hard time. I'm, I'm getting into the groove of things, but I'm learning how to do the daily upkeep of stuff on top of like all the different places the kids need to be, which is great. I actually love the schedule and the busyness. It's, it's fun and the kids enjoy it. But I also have like a home to maintain and a lot of times that kind of falls by the wayside and I, I pay more attention to all the other stuff, which is fine. The house can always wait, but I would love to get my hands on our garage. Maybe just take like a couple full days and work out there. I think it could really benefit from having some decluttering done to it. Just give me something so I can move on. Closer, push me away. Let me know. I just wanted to thank Framebridge for sponsoring this part of today's video, and I am so excited to get some frame pictures up on this wall. This wall has been blank the whole time we've lived here and it has been needing something up on it so badly. And I ordered these pictures, you know, originally I thought I was going to put them in my office, but when I saw this wall upstairs, I was like, I feel like this is perfect. I decided to go with more of scenery pictures and yes, I'm in one of them, but it's very, very small. So I feel like it's mostly just scenery and I ordered these prints from when we went on our trip to Arizona. It was like a trip of a lifetime for me. So beautiful. Can't wait to show y'all how they look, but Framebridge, if you have not heard of them, makes it so easy and convenient and affordable for you to print your favorite pictures without ever leaving your house. So what I did is I took these pictures from my phone, which is also crazy to me that the quality is so incredible. Then I uploaded them to Framebridge and then I picked out what frames I wanted. So I went with a natural look just because I love that look so much no matter what wall it's on. And I actually went with different sizes for each of my pictures too. I didn't really want them to look super uniform. I wanted them to look a little bit different. So you can choose whatever size you want for your frames. And then they have tons of options as far as the frames go. You could do colorful, you could do a different type of style. And then if you're struggling to figure out what you want, you can get free recommendations from designers on the website who will show you a preview of what your framed piece could look like. And then once you've made all your decisions, the experts at Framebridge will custom frame your item and deliver your finished piece directly to your door, fully ready to hang. And that's what I love about these is they're very simple to hang. They send you the little hardware piece that goes into the wall. All you need is a hammer and you can put it up. If I can put it up, I promise anybody can. So instead of the hundreds that you might pay at a framing store, their prices start at only $39 and all shipping is free. So you can order online at framebridge.com or you can stop by a Framebridge store if you happen to live in New York, DC, Atlanta, Philly, Boston, or Chicago. So you can get started today, frame your photos, or send someone the perfect gift. Go to framebridge.com and use my promo code Joanna Thornton to save an additional 15% off your first order. Look at how these turned out. I could not love them more. They are beautiful. I will keep them forever. I stare at them every time I walk upstairs. I love them so much. So again, you can go to framebridge.com and use my promo code Joanna Thornton to save 15% off. Mark and I are coming up on 14 years of marriage and we're planning on having our pictures done soon. So that is the next thing I want to have printed is pictures of us to put in our bedroom. So I'll show you all those when we have those done. I cannot wait. I know they will turn out so, so good. Laundry and cleaning my kitchen are such a huge part of my everyday. So I guess it makes the most sense that that will probably be in my videos the most, but I typically try to do that, like start cleaning the kitchen, do the things I can get done earlier in the day. 
and then save all of this stuff for after my kids go to bed because I know once I do it, start the dishwasher and then deep clean the floors that it will stay good. I don't really like to deep clean my floors in the middle of the day because I kind of feel like there's no point in doing that. I love, love mopping the floors after everyone is in bed. It is so peaceful. Mopping is one of my favorite things, but you have to kind of do it when there's not really people around. As I was apparently violently wiping down the countertops, I heard two things hit the floor, which you might have seen earlier, a ponytail holder. I did not realize that as I was wiping, so I found it. But then the louder thing was Kate had a ring up on the counter where she was eating. So thankfully I found it before I vacuumed it up and the ponytail holder too. Okay, I'm about to clean this all up and wipe down the table, and I know this is so random, but if you do not have Bananagrams, you should get it. I think it is pretty cheap, and it is so fun to play. So this is not really how you play it. Kate and I earlier took all the letters, and we wanted to turn it into like one big game, but it's a lot more fun for more than two people, but we've had this out almost all week, and we've been playing nonstop. It's really fun. Again, it's called Bananagrams. I have started my little collection of heirloom pumpkins. I just love them so much. I think the uglier the better, the wartier the better, and they have had so many at our local public. So I don't know if you have Publixes where you are, but they have been like five and six dollars for the cutest heirloom pumpkins. So I have a few on the table. I have some for my front porch, and of course I'm gonna get a couple more, but they're just such a good price to me. It's the same price as like the orange pumpkins that you carve and they're not quite as cute. But also I was running my vacuum cleaner the day before and it was acting up and I should definitely clean this more. The inside of it is actually not too bad, but there was hair wrapped all around this and with Kate and Ava and me all living in the same house, I'm not surprised that it looks like this, but it took me a good little bit to unravel all of this hair.
the tech sign XO. My ace boom boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take you way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like. You're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hard cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down. Don't go far. I take me and you over living large. Know I'll be there wherever you are. Cause you shine bright like, you shine bright like a shoe. I do love vacuuming, but some areas just make so much more sense to sweep. We have a lot of large chunks of food under the island at all times because my kids eat here for most meals and the vacuum cleaner can't always get up like the huge chunks. And then also I love anywhere where I can like sweep the baseboard too kind of. And since the island has a little bit of a ledge along the bottom I like to sweep under here same for like under the cabinets on the other side too and anywhere along the baseboards I love to sweep too I need to get a different runner for here anyway, one that goes a little bit more with my island. But for some reason, the way this rug lays, it does not like to be vacuumed. No matter how you do it, it does not like it. So I have to go in like one motion and go back. If you go back and forth, it's like, it makes the weirdest sounds in it. I don't know, I can't really explain it. Do any of your rugs do that? I don't know if I'm alone in that. I worked a good bit in my last video and then all my videos going forward to update my description box to have like updated links for y'all. So if you click on living room rug, it is actually the living room rug and just random stuff like that. And then also I wanted to say if you missed my last video, it was a home tour. So if you're curious to see that and you somehow missed it, just go back and click on the last video. I love showing you guys around my house, even when it's not, you know, fully ready or there's things I want to change about it, but I love showing y'all the process as we go along. Go, go, go. 
I added a tiny little bit of vinegar to my mop water. I have no idea why. Honestly, I just saw it out in the cleaning cabinet and I said, hmm, I'll do this. And then I grabbed this spick and span, which I do not remember buying. I don't know how long I've had it, but it's like a citrus smell and it smells really good. So I put a little bit of that in and it definitely did a great job at getting the floors clean. I think that in combination with really hot water, I think does the trick and there's just nothing better than this O Cedar spin mop. Again, the same reason why I love a broom is why I love a mop over like a steam mop because I love going up on the baseboards and just those little grooves that other mops can't get into. The sun is going down now. Been at it for a while and I have had enough of this. I doubt that we can solve it. Been trying for so long and I just can't ignore that it won't ever be the same. No, we will never be that good again. Don't drag it out. Skip the innocence. Things will never be the same again. No, I got all that I need. No need to apologize. No, we won't waste any more time. Probably one of the most asked questions I have now that we have these floors and we've had them for about a year. Wow, has it really been a year? Maybe I'm not thinking about that straight. That is insane if it's been a year. But anyways, we love them. Could not love them more. Have had zero complaints, zero issues with them so far, knock on wood. But they are the Paladin Plus Shaw Touch Pine LVP. I just said a lot of words, but I don't know specifically the order, but that's basically it. I want to say the number was like 690 or something. We ordered them from a local flooring place, but I'm sure you can probably get them Home Depot or wherever. I just wanted a mix of like the lighter flooring. I wanted not to be able to see tons of crumbs on the floor. I wanted something that I felt like would last for a while and not just be too trendy. I almost went with super light floors, but then I thought that I might not like them after a while, so I went in between. Anyways, love these, have no complaints. So if you're interested in anything like this, I promise you, you will not regret going with these floors. All these memories that we've made won't fade away for a while you said you don't mind that you'll be just fine no room for second chances hey i got all that i need no need to apologize we won't waste any more time yeah i am all that i need no need to apologize Okay. There's kind of a lot going on in my office right now, but I did sit down. I wanted to get on my computer and do some stuff with my Cricut. Kate just leveled up in her tumbling class. And so she leveled up to graphite and you can pay like, I think five or six dollars to get their name put on the back. But obviously I can do that here. So I'm going to do that for her and put Kate on here. And then while I'm already doing stuff on my Cricut anyway, it's funny this looks like dirtier in real life it just looks solid black but i mean there's definitely some hairs and stuff but these are my kids trick-or-treating bags and i went ahead and bought four of them from hobby lobby they were half off so 249 maybe it's too bright in here let me turn the brightness down i don't know regardless they look kind of crazy but they were 249 so they were 125 i'm gonna put like a fun some type of halloween type thing on the front and i don't know if i'm gonna put their name or not but i'll figure that out i figure while i have like the heat press on and my cricket going might as well do these bags and the shirt
what you're doing to me now They lie, they steal, they fool us Deep down I probably know Making shirts and sweatshirts and stuff with the heat transfer vinyl is a lot easier to me than anything else. So I feel like I enjoy it more and I love the weeding process because when you're pulling up this excess vinyl, it's not sticky because it only like activates when heat is applied to it. But when you're pulling up the other type of vinyl, just like regular vinyl, it's sticky. So if you're not being careful, it can stick to each other as you're pulling it up and then it can mess your whole thing up. And so my sister and I were making a sign together the other day. And as I was actually, I messed up when I was doing the transfer tape and it made the vinyl stick to the transfer tape and it messed it up. It was just one word. So I was able to fix it. But to me with regular vinyl, you have a lot higher chance of messing it up. And with the heat transfer, it's a lot easier. By my side, I'm not worried I think we'll be able to find ourselves again Black expressions, empty words Nothing can keep me away from you I think I will be a little bit later now but that's fine I'm going to go ahead and iron on all of this I kind of laid it out on the floor to make sure that it looks straight I just eyeball it you can measure it if I was you know had a business or something I'd probably do a little bit better with measuring but for the most part I just eyeball it I'm gonna do this and then the four bags then I'm going to be done I just decided to keep the design really easy. I searched a ghost on my Cricut Design Space and this was one of the first to pop up. And then I just put their name next to it, like, you know, going up and down instead of sideways and I use the same font for the boys and then a different font for the girls. I thought it was fun, cute, a really cheap way to have a fun bag to collect candy. Okay, and then the last step, which is kind of my favorite, but I like to let the vinyl set for a little bit and then you just peel off the plastic on the top and then you have your final product. Some of the vinyl that I use is just like, you can peel it right away, but I think for the most part, you wanna let it set in for a second and it peels so much more smoothly and you don't have to worry about vinyl peeling off too. But like heat transfer vinyl is my favorite vinyl to work with. I like making cups and using regular vinyl, but heat transfer is just so much easier to work with. Kate has tumbling soon, so she'll be so happy she has this shirt. And I'm gonna do the bags. Do our actions even matter? Or is this a fate? At least now I'm feeling better I know I'm here to stay Won't you come my side Aren't these so cute? 
I feel like the easiest little project you could possibly do, but they're like unique for each kid with different colors. And then obviously that was pretty easy and straightforward. I'll probably take a picture of this and post it on Instagram just because I get proud of myself way too easily. But thank y'all so much for watching this week's video. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.